for faith families. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago? Um, well, first of all, let me start out like this. It's, this is about the oil spill. For 87 days, we watched this camera just focus on this oil that was pouring into the Gulf. I don't mean leaking. I mean billowing oil. Minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, month after month. Remember that? Now, remember, what, a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now, when we just joined with other churches around the nation and we just prayed. Because that's what we do. We ask God. And we just prayed. God, don't know how you're going to do it, but somehow, would you just intervene here? And as you can, protect the environment, make these people who have these generations of jobs that, that, that have everything to do with the, with the Gulf, you know, somehow restore their livelihood and, 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 and make your grace evident in the way you've done that. Now, I, I, I say that because I, I want you to hear what they've been saying about the oil leak all week. This is what they're saying. So where do you think the oil went? I mean, there should be more oil, shouldn't there? What happened to the oil? Can I just say something to you? Why is it that when we pray to God and he says no, we're disappointed, but we recognize the no. But when we pray to God and he says yes, we're puzzled. Why is it that when God does what we have asked him to do, we aren't dancing. We aren't saying, thank you, God. Nobody knows where the oil went. We don't know where the oil went, but we know who intervened here. Now, you can hold to a little conspiracy theory where they're not telling us the truth and somehow BP has a bunch of oil somewhere under the Gulf and it's all going to spring out, you know. But isn't it okay For Christians to recognize when God answers prayer and to say thank you to God very simply. Thank you. Thank you. 